So the first thing we need to do is launch Apple Remote Desktop. I'm going to go to my Spotlight menu and I'm going to start typing in Remote Desktop. You see it has a blue background with binoculars with red lenses. I'm going to click it and launch it. We're going to have to go through the uh, setup agreement here. I'm going to say Agree. And it's going to ask you for a password. Uh, this password can be whatever you want it to be. Uh, if you select Add to Keychain, you'll never have to enter this password again. Uh, I'll leave all of these checked and leave them like they are. Just go with Default, hit Done, and then we'll launch into Remote Desktop. Now there are two key changes that make it all work a lot easier in my opinion. Especially if you're going to have any remote support while you're using your MacBook. Uh, we're going to go up here to the Remote Desktop Preferences and we're going to make those key changes. One of them is, by default, if you double click on a computer, it says Get Info. I prefer that to be Observe, because when you double click a computer, you typically want to see what's going on. That's the whole reason you're using Remote Desktop. So I will change that menu to where it says Observe instead of Get Info. The next thing that really needs to be changed so that other administrators can assist you whenever you are running Remote Desktop is go over to the Security tab. and then click the box that says allow control of this computer when this application is running. By default that is unclicked. We want to make sure that is clicked. Then if you make any help requests to administrators on your network they'll be able to access your computer even when remote desktop is running. This is especially helpful if you need assistance with remote desktop. So I'm going to close the preferences now and now we're going to start looking at the actual application.